Claudio O'Connor has signed for Lincoln City today on a free. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It was he overrated in your eyes or was he underappreciated at times by our fan base? And he does get criticised a lot um, by us because of his disciplinary actions, um, but mainly his hot headedness and his, his, he gets over emotional. Um, and Lincoln fans, let me know what you think in the comments down below of the sign of your new player. Are you happy? And what's your centre back situation at the minute? And will he, do you think he will improve your team? But in terms of us, I think he'll leave a hole in the team. Is he easy to replace? I think he is. Um, because you can find them sort of players. Um, I don't know if Platt's replaced him, but we, I think we are. Um, we've been linked with a centre back, I forgot his name. But, you know, there's been loads of rumours going round. Apparently, Mark Hughes is going to Forest Green Rovers. Um, I, I don't think he is. I think, I think a lot of fans are clever enough now. There's a few who will, um, who do think he will be going. But I, I do think it's just one of those accounts again, um, trying to woo people. Um, he could even be a City fan. EFL Insider on Twitter is posting a lot. I, I don't think it's true, um, but obviously we'll we'll find out. I, I don't think he would want to leave Mark Hughes. Not yet anyway because. I think obviously clubs might be interested in him who haven't got a manager going into a season, you know, seeing how well we've played under Mark Hughes since he took over in uh, February. But I, I, I think he'll be too loyal to leave us at this moment of time. But I, I do think it's just an account trying to put Bath City fans, and it could even be a Bath City fan, just trying to get a bit of attention. So I'm not going to talk about it too much, and that's probably the last time I'll talk about it unless it is actual. Um, unless it is proper uh, news. But in terms of Paddy O'Connor, it is an interesting one. I think we did knew, know that he was going to go, but there was a bit of optimism with some fans that he was going to stay. And Charles Vernon's been linked to Lincoln. I don't know if he will be going to Lincoln now. Hopefully on Friday when the kit gets announced, he'll be walking out in the new home kit for this next season. Uh, but I don't, I don't think that will happen. I think now in the next coming days, Elliot Watt and maybe Charles Vernon will be announced that they have moved to League One Championship clubs, and you know, but I think that will be a good thing. Maybe the club already know, and I think you know Stephen Gent and Mark Hughes and Hodges and all the backroom staff will be working on deals to try and replace them and be looking at uh, deals and be scouting these players to replace them already, even if they do sign and make their mind up. Um, or they might have already have known and they're just waiting to be confirmed and official um, with the other clubs. But I, I do think, I, I did know Paddy O'Connor was going to go. I think most of us did and I do think Elliot Watt will be, but Charles Vernon will have to wait and see if he's going to go. Um, but yeah, I think Paddy O'Connor will come and play him. He's played, I think he played, he's played about 129 games for us. He's played over 100 games for us now. I think he's got nine goals all in all this season. He got three. You know, but I think he's only been sent off twice. He's he's had quite a few bookings, but I think what the main problem with Paddy O'Connor is is passion. He gets drawn into challenges that he doesn't have to make because he feels like he has to rush in and make the challenge that he doesn't have to make, and he can get pulled out of position then and then gaps open up. Um, he ain't the quickest, you know. I I think he has got a little bit of pace about him, but he ain't the quickest, so that's another weakness. Um, so that, that's a few, but then it, the positives are, you know, he's he's physically strong, he is a bit of a leader, um, but no, it doesn't matter how you look at it, he, he can be a bit of a leader because he he is passionate about the game and he does want to, um, you know, you can see there's a clear eagerness to win a game from Paddy O'Connor, um, but yeah, I, I think however you look at it, he is a leader, but uh, another thing with Paddy O'Connor is. He ain't bad at playing the ball out. I, I think Matty Platt, who we have signed, it will probably be better at playing the ball. But, you know, he, he does put his body on the line. You know, he, he ain't scared of getting kicked in the face. He'll carry on. He, he ain't scared of a tooth falling out. Um, he ain't scared of a bit of blood. And he ain't scared of the ball getting thrashed against his knees. Or, you know, he, he does throw his body in there and he ain't scared. So he, he does have that passion, which is good. But there's that downside where he's too passionate. And he's too eager to make a challenge and he can get drawn in to challenges that he doesn't have to make. So that is a weakness. But 
you know, I, I think he's easy to replace. But we came in in January 2018, was it? The season we got relegated might have been January 2019. Um, and Gary Bowyer was playing him a bit, and then he realised how good he is, and he didn't want to play him um, until next season when we knew we were going to sign him on a free from Leeds because the first half of the season we won at Blackpool got recalled by Leeds and we snapped him up and since then he's been there for three and a half years and he has been quite a rock at the back for us and I can't really recall many games I said Pardy O'Connor's been terrible today and his cost us, there have been a few the games where he has been pushed out of position or got sent off but the majority, uh, you do come off and say Paddy O'Connor's had a really good game. He's won several Player of the Year awards now, and he said he is ready for the next jump in his career. He, he, he said he wanted to pick somewhere I could develop and have the opportunity to play another 40 games plus. And as I have over the past few years, the next career move I needed to be the right football wise. I wanted to step up to League One, and it's clear there is a structure in place here to allow me to kick on. I've had a good couple of weeks off, so I feel rested and I'm just buzzing to get him for pre-season. Um, and he'll be joining the Imps on July the 1st when his contract expires at City. So, you know, it's it probably is an exciting transfer for Lincoln. They've got themselves a good player. I liked him. There's three fans who, there's three ways you can like Paddy O'Connor. You can love him, where you're devastated if he's gone because... You see it, only the positives about him and how good he was. There's the fan that I am, where you see the positives, but you can also see the blatantly obvious negatives. And uh, you, you are, you know, a bit bothered that he's gone, but you know, but you can look past it and that we can we get a player who could be potentially better um, in, in the next coming days. And then there's the fan who is going around and posting how we didn't need you and being bitter about it when... You know, he, he has been a good servant to the club, he's played a lot of games and he's been pivotal at the back to try and keep, well, I mean, to keep us in the league because where, where would we be without him at times when, you know, he has been very good at the back and he does deserve the jump up that he's got. Um, but Luke Hendry, um, no, sorry, uh, Charles Vernon, Elliot Watt and Charlie Wood have yet to make their decisions on the futures. Um, so I, I do think... Elliot Watt's gone now with the signing of Ryan East and the signing of um, and Charles Vernon could still uh, get agreed in the next coming days but he's played around 129 games, scored 8 goals, got 3 assists um, he's been booked 29 times and he's had 2 red cards, he's played over 11,000 minutes for City so you know he, he's, he has been very consistent, and that's how I'm going to end. Mr. Consistent. Let me know what you think. Was he overrated? Was he underappreciated? Are you sad to see him go? Are you feeling bitter about it? And Lincoln fans, let me know what you think about Paddy O'Connor joining your football club. Let me know in the comments down below. Have a good one.